In geometry, the major axis of an ellipse is its longest diameter, a line segment that runs through the center and both foci, with ends at the widest points of the perimeter. The semi-major axis, more properly, major semi-axis, is one half of the major axis, and thus runs from the center, through a focus, and to the perimeter. The semi-minor axis, more properly, minor semi-axis of an ellipse or hyperbola is a line segment that is at right angles with the semi-major axis and has one end at the center of the conic section. For the special case of a circle, the lengths of the semi-axes are both equal to the radius of the circle. The length of the semi-major axis a display style of an ellipse is related to the semi-minor axis's length b display style b through the eccentricity e display style e and the semi-lattice rectum display style l as follows b equals a 1 minus e2 equals a 1 minus e2 a equals b2 display style begin align b and equals a sqrt 1 e caret 2 l and equals a left 1 e caret 2 right a L and equals B carrot two end aligned the semi major axis of a hyperbola is, depending on the convention, plus or minus one half of the distance between the two branches. Thus it is the distance from the center to either vertex of the hyperbola. A parabola can be obtained as the limit of a sequence of ellipses where one focus is kept fixed as the other is allowed to move arbitrarily far away in one direction, keeping display style L fixed thus a display style a and b display style b tend to infinity a display style a faster than b display style b the major and minor axes are the axes of symmetry for the curve. In an ellipse, the minor axis is the shorter one. In a hyperbola, it is the one that does not intersect the hyperbola. Topic: <laughs> Ellipse. The equation of an ellipse is x minus h two. 2 plus y minus k 2 b 2 equals 1 Display style FRAC left XH right carrot two a carrot two plus FRAC left y k right carrot two b carrot two equals one where h k is the center of the ellipse in Cartesian coordinates, in which an arbitrary point is given by x, y. The semi-major axis is the mean value of the maximum and minimum distances r max and r min of the ellipse from a focus that is, of the distances from a focus to the endpoints of the major axis. In astronomy these extreme points are called apsides. A equals R max plus R min 2 Display style equals FRAC R underscore max plus R underscore min 2 the semi-minor axis of an ellipse is the geometric mean of these distances. B equals R max R min. Display style B equals sqrt R underscore max R underscore min. The eccentricity of an ellipse is defined as E equals one minus B two out two display style e equals sqrt one frac b caret two a caret two so r min equals a one minus e r max equals out 
one plus e display style r underscore min equals a one e r underscore max equals a one plus e now consider the equation in polar coordinates, with one focus at the origin and the other on the theta equals pi minus display style theta equals pi direction r one plus e cos theta equals Display style r one plus e cos theta equals l. The mean value of r equals one minus e. Display style r equals l one e and r equals one plus e. Display style r equals l one plus e four theta equals pi. Display style theta equals pi and theta equals zero. Display style theta equals zero is a equals one minus e. Two display style equals l over one e caret two. In an ellipse, the semi-major axis is the geometric mean of the distance from the center to either focus and the distance from the center to either directrix. The semi-minor axis of an ellipse runs from the center of the ellipse, a point halfway between and on the line running between the foci, to the edge of the ellipse. The semi-minor axis is half of the minor axis. The minor axis is the longest line segment perpendicular to the major axis that connects two points on the ellipse's edge. The semi-minor axis B is related to the semi-major axis A through the eccentricity E and the semi-lattice rectum as follows, B equals a 1 minus E2 A equals B2 begin align B and equals a sqrt 1 E caret 2, a L and equals B caret 2, end aligned a parabola can be obtained as the limit of a sequence of ellipses where one one focus is kept fixed as the other is allowed to move arbitrarily far away in one direction, keeping display style L fixed. Thus, a display style A and B display style B tend to infinity. A display style A faster than B display style B. The length of the semi-minor axis could also be found using the following formula: two B equals P plus q 2 minus f 2 display style 2b equals sqrt p plus q caret 2 f caret 2 where f display style f is the distance between the foci p display style p and q display style q are the distances from each focus to any point in the ellipse topic hyperbola the semi major axis of a hyperbola is depending on the convention plus or minus 1 half of the distance between the two branches if this is a display style in the x direction the equation is x minus h 2 o 2 minus y minus k 2 b 2 equals 1 Display style FRAC left XH right carrot two a carrot two FRAC left YK right carrot two B carrot two equals one. In terms of the semi lattice rectum and the eccentricity, we have a equals one minus 
e two display style a equals l over one e caret two. The transverse axis of a hyperbola coincides with the major axis. In a hyperbola, a conjugate axis or minor axis of length two b display style two b corresponding to the minor axis of an ellipse can be drawn perpendicular to the transverse axis or major axis the latter connecting the two vertices turning points of the hyperbola with the two axes intersecting at the center of the hyperbola the endpoints 0 plus or minus b display style 0 pmb of the minor axis lie at the height of the asymptotes over under the hyperbola's vertices Either half of the minor axis is called the semi-minor axis of length b, display style b, denoting the semi-major axis length distance from the center to a vertex as a, display style a. The semi-minor and semi-major axis lengths appear in the equation of the hyperbola relative to these axes as follows: x two a. 2 minus y 2 b 2 equals 1 display style frac x caret 2 a caret 2 frac y caret 2 b caret 2 equals 1 the semi minor axis is also the distance from one of focuses of the hyperbola to an asymptote Often called the impact parameter, this is important in physics and astronomy, and measure the distance a particle will miss the focus by if its journey is unperturbed by the body at the focus. The semi-minor axis and the semi-major axis are related through the eccentricity, as follows B equals A E 2 minus 1 Display style b equals a sqrt e caret two minus one. Note that in a hyperbola, b display style b can be larger than a display style a one. Topic: Astronomy. Orbital period In astrodynamics the orbital period T of a small body orbiting a central body in a circular or elliptical orbit is T equals 2 pi O 3 mu Display style t equals two pi sqrt a caret three over mu, where a display style a is the length of the orbit's semi-major axis. Mu display style mu is the standard gravitational parameter of the central body. Note that for all ellipses with a given semi-major axis, the orbital period is the same, disregarding their eccentricity. The specific angular momentum h display style h of a small body orbiting a central body in a circular or elliptical orbit as h equals a mu 1 minus e 2 Display style h equals sqrt a mu left 1 e caret 2 right where a display style a and mu display style mu are as defined above e display style e is the eccentricity of the orbit in astronomy the semi major axis is one of the most important orbital elements of an orbit along with its orbital period for solar system objects, the semi-major axis is related to the period of the orbit by Kepler's third law, originally empirically derived. T two o three 
Display style t caret two propto a caret three, where t display style t is the period and a display style a is the semi-major axis. This form turns out to be a simplification of the general form for the two-body problem, as determined by Newton. T two equals 4 pi 2 g m plus m a 3 display style t caret 2 equals frac 4 pi caret 2 g m plus m a caret 3 where g display style g is the gravitational constant m Display style m is the mass of the central body, and m display style m is the mass of the orbiting body. Typically, the central body's mass is so much greater than the orbiting body's that m display style m may be ignored. Making that assumption and using typical astronomy units results in the simpler form Kepler discovered. The orbiting body's path around the barycenter and its path relative to its primary are both ellipses. The semi-major axis is sometimes used in astronomy as the primary to secondary distance when the mass ratio of the primary to the secondary is significantly large. M M display style M G G M. Thus, the orbital parameters of the planets are given in heliocentric terms. The difference between the primocentric and absolute orbits may best be illustrated by looking at the Earth Moon system. The mass ratio in this case is 81.30059. The Earth Moon characteristic distance, the semi major axis of the geocentric lunar orbit, is 384,400 km. The barycentric lunar orbit, on the other hand, has a semi major axis of 379,700 km, the Earth's counter orbit taking up the difference, 4,700 km. The Moon's average barycentric orbital speed is 1.010 km per second, whilst the Earth's is 0.012 km per second. The total of these speeds gives a geocentric lunar average orbital speed of 1.022 km per second. The same value may be obtained by considering just the geocentric semi major axis value. <laughs> <laughs> average distance It is often said that the semi major axis is the average distance between the primary focus of the ellipse and the orbiting body. This is not quite accurate, because it depends on what the average is taken over. Averaging the distance over the eccentric anomaly indeed results in the semi-major axis. Averaging over the true anomaly the true orbital angle, measured at the focus results, oddly enough, in the semi-minor axis b equals o 1 Minus e two display style b equals a sqrt one e caret two averaging over the mean anomaly, the fraction of the orbital period that has elapsed since pericenter, expressed as an angle, finally gives the time average a one plus e two two. Display style of left one plus frac e caret two two right. The time averaged value of the reciprocal of the radius r minus one. Display style r caret minus one is a minus one. Display style a caret minus one. Topic: Energy calculation of semi-major axis from state vectors. In astrodynamics, the semi-major axis a 
display style o can be calculated from orbital state vectors o equals minus mu 2 epsilon display style o equals mu over 2 var epsilon for an elliptical orbit and depending on the convention the same or o equals mu 2 epsilon display style equals mu over 2 var epsilon for a hyperbolic trajectory and epsilon equals v 2 2 minus mu r Display style var epsilon equals v caret two over two mu over left math bf r right specific orbital energy and mu equals g m display style mu equals g m standard gravitational parameter where v display style v is orbital velocity from velocity vector of an orbiting object r is a cartesian position vector of an orbiting object in coordinates of a reference frame with respect to which the elements of the orbit are to be calculated e g geocentric equatorial for an orbit around earth or heliocentric ecliptic for an orbit around the sun g display style g is the gravitational constant m display style m is the mass of the gravitating body and epsilon display style var epsilon is the specific energy of the orbiting body note that for a given amount of total mass the specific energy and the semi major axis are always the same regardless of eccentricity or the ratio of the masses Conversely, for a given total mass and semi major axis, the total specific orbital energy is always the same. This statement will always be true under any given conditions. See also Semidiameter <inaudible> <inaudible>